All right, it's about 5 after 12 in the afternoon. Um, I have to get ready to go to work here shortly, but I thought I'd come out and check on the rabbit. And Penny, has, she's out of the nesting box eating. And I looked into the nesting box. There's more hair than we, there was this morning, more fur. And the fur's moving. So we're going to go out and videotape it and see if there's babies in there. I'm not going to touch it until we get it on camera. So come on, let's do it. Here we are back at uh, Penny's house. And as you can see, the nest has more hair or fur than it did earlier this morning. And the fur back in the corner is, well, that straw is still moving. See it? Can you see the fur moving? No, I need to get over here. Oh, yeah. yeah. It's moving. It just doesn't move on its own. Hey, sweet girl. Yeah, there are babies in there. Um, I think I should move the fur just to make sure there's... Well, no every everything I've read says you need to check and make sure that they're all alive okay. because I've read that um, <clears throat> if there is one mm -hmm. that didn't make it for some reason, uh, you need to get it out of there immediately because it can kill the rest of the litter. Okay. Let me look. Okay, let me move sideways. See if you can count them. Don't fight it. This is what, one reason I wanted him to check his arms are longer than mine and our Nesting box has a wire bottom. Hey, baby. There's one. You know, they're on the corner and they're moving. There's one, two, three. Three. Get the camera in there. Okay. Maybe that's a, this is her first litter ever, so. Do you see him? They're in there. Cute little awesome. bunnies. Um, you did good, Jenny. I'm not for sure how many, but I think they feel okay. I'm not going to dig around in there too much. She's got them buried. One. Two. Three. One. Two. I think I feel four. Okay, I'm going to leave them alone. Okay, look underneath and make sure everything is... Copacetic? Yeah, hunky-dory. Oh, clunk and noodle. <laughs> look at his head. This is what he keeps doing, bashing his head on the rabbit hutch. <laughs> okay, I'm going to get her some more straw. Hey. Okay. You did good, Mama. We'll get some straw and put in here with her, some fresh straw. And then we'll leave her alone. Food. She's been eating like crazy. I'm not going to put a bunch in there, but. There you go, girl. There you go. 
Look at that ant. Where? It was crawling in the box here. Okay, you take good care of them babies. Yay, we have babies. I think there's four in there. That's my that's my quiet cheer so we don't scare her. Okay, we'll keep you posted. Okay, it's getting um more toward evening now. And um I've come out here because I just watched the news broadcast and they said that we're supposed to have very cool temperatures tonight. And our nesting box has um a it's a open wire bottom that um is made out of this I'm not sure what size it is, but it's the size of the Hi Mama. The baby saver wire at the bottom. Um anyway, so I'm concerned that um it might get a little too cold. She, it looks like she's got a fantastic nest built there for him. And I don't know if I'm sticking my nose in here where she don't need my nose stuck, but um, we're so new to this, I'm not sure, and I'm afraid of any wind coming in from underneath. So I've brought this piece of uh, cardboard to stick underneath the nesting box and I can always take it out tomorrow but I just I just want to give them a little added extra protection and warmth because it's supposed to dip down I guess they said record cool temperatures for this time in June so I'm going to stick that under there but I've got to shut the camera off because Mark's at work and I've only got one hand, and I don't want to take a chance on dropping the nesting. I've, I've got two hands, <laughs> but I've got one hand to use the camera, one hand to use to lift up the cardboard. Well, you know what I mean. Anyway, I want to use two hands to lift the nesting box. So, I'll be right back. Well... Something told me to look underneath, and maybe I don't want to lift the nesting box because let me show you what she's done. And it looks like she's plugged every little hole she could possibly plug with fur. So let me show you. I think I might just leave it. Look at that. What an amazing bunny. I'm just going to try to look at it a little bit closer. But I think I'm I'm not going to mess with it because I don't want to pull any of them. So I'm just going to leave it. Yeah, I think I've decided I'm just going to leave it. I can see fur moving back there. So I'm not even going to uncover him to check him right now because she's got them all tucked in good and I just don't want to take a chance on having them get cold at all. I think she's going to be a really good mama. She seems to know what she's doing, so I guess I just... Sometimes I think it's better to just better leave things alone and to nature. Is that right, Henny? Is that right? Do you got everything under control? All right, well, I guess I'll wait and come out in the morning and see how things are going i'm gonna I'm gonna leave it as she's got it. I just don't wanna mess anything up, so I'll keep you posted. Bye.